the convenience of life that we take for granted. Many of these wouldn't be available if it weren't for semiconductors. Electronic devices have changed our lives. And inside them are semiconductors, which one would call the seed of electronic devices. What is a semiconductor? Conductors conduct electricity. Insulators resist electricity. Semiconductors fall in between the two. Integrated circuits, which are made using such electronic properties, are generally called semiconductor chips. Billions of transistors lie inside a chip as small as a fingernail. These transistors are the building blocks of digital codes. If electricity is being passed through the gate of a transistor, it is recognized as one, and if not, zero. Semiconductors process all kinds of information using binary numbers, the simple zero and one. Then, how is a semiconductor created? The starting point is an element called silicon, which can easily be found in sand. We use silicon to make thin, round wafers and then build tiny, intricate circuits on it over the course of hundreds of processes. Since billions of transistors must be placed inside this small area, it is very important to be small yet precise. Semiconductor-making processes have evolved to reduce the width of the circuit micrometers and then nanometers at a time. However, there were physical limitations to improving these fine process technologies on a planar scheme. At Samsung, these limitations were overcome through a structural innovation called FinFET, which uses fin-shaped 3D transistors. Through this, the 14 nanometer chips were developed and have further evolved to today's 10 nanometer semiconductors. 10 nanometers is about 10,000 times thinner than the diameter of a single human hair. It can't be seen by the naked eye. What advantages do these finer circuits offer? The smaller the width of the circuit, the shorter the traveling distance of the electron is, improving the efficiency as well as the performance of the chip. In addition, more of these smaller circuits can be fit into a wafer. More chips per wafer, less production cost, lower price. As such, the continuous development of semiconductors has changed the way we live today. Not so long ago, cameras and laptops were heavy, as were the mobile phones which were limited to voice calls. Now, all these can be replaced by a single smartphone that has semiconductors produced using fine process technology. Smaller size, more features. Things previously beyond our imaginations have already come true. Samsung Electronics succeeded in the mass production of 10 nanometer semiconductors for the first time in the industry and is racing toward 4 nanometer semiconductors, which we expect to see by the year 2020. What will these small seeds grow into in the hyperconnected society? Stay tuned as Samsung elevates our lifestyles with next-generation technology.